What if blood doesn't clot? Hey, curious kids! Before we imagine a world where blood doesn't clot, let's take a tour of a treasure trove of printable and online worksheets on Tutoring Hour. Visit tutoringhour.com today for all your educational needs. Let's jump in and picture this. You're on the playground zooming down the slide and suddenly, ouch, you scrape your knee. Normally, your body's blood clotting superhero squad would rush to save the day. The platelets arrive first. They are the construction workers. They rush to the injury and start building a wall. The platelets can't do this alone, so they call fibrin, the superhero glue. This special protein helps the platelets stick together to form a strong net. The red blood cells pitch in to fill the gaps, sealing the injury like a natural band-aid. This whole process is called coagulation, and it stops the bleeding quickly. But what if this squad doesn't show up? Instead of a quick fix, blood would just keep flowing, like a never-ending water slide. Even a tiny cut could become dangerous. Do you know why? Blood carries oxygen to your organs. If you lose too much blood, your body won't get the oxygen it needs, making you feel dizzy, weak, and tired. Your heart, lungs, and brain could be in serious danger. To survive in a world like that, you'd have to wear helmets, knee pads, and even full-body armor just to slice a pizza or play a game of tag in the park. Playgrounds would be covered in band-aids and soft mats, and even a tiny cut would send you straight to the hospital. Without clots, small injuries would feel like riding a bike with no brakes. Risky and dangerous. Next time you get a little cut while playing or riding a bike and it stops bleeding after a few minutes, thank your body's blood clotting superhero squad working together to keep you safe and healthy. Thank you for watching. Smash the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for our next adventure into the world of what if. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.